Like, yeah, dude, you have to stay. Come on. Hey, no, no, no. no. Well, Do you want a drink? No, I'm fine, thanks. All right, so Stacy is here tonight. The one I've been telling you about, remember? Yeah, so? Yeah, so I was just thinking maybe I could introduce you to... You guys could hit it off. Hillary. What? Okay, before you say anything, she is nice and cute and, like, really funny. I just really like her. Yeah, what if I don't like her? Okay, then you don't have to ask her out. It wouldn't be a big deal, I guess. But I just really want you to meet her, please. Well, I don't know if I want to do this. Come on! Like... All you have to do is say hi. I don't see what you have to lose. What if I fall in love with her? I think that would be great. Would that not be great? Yeah, until it all falls to crap. Michael, she's nothing like Rachel. Nobody's as bad as Rachel. Where did that come from? Uh, That's kind of random. No, I don't... <laughs> okay, Michael, just... Can we please just give her a chance? I just want to see Fine. you happy. Fine, I will talk to her. Just give me a minute to go upstairs and get ready. Yes! Yes, Michael! Hey, you look good tonight, by the way. I'm real cute. Michael, this is my friend Stacy. Stacy, Michael. Hi. Hi. Uh, and it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <clears throat> hey, can I grab you for a moment? Hmm? Uh, right now? Yeah. Let's go. I'm sorry. Uh, so, what do you do for a living? Uh, I'm, I'm kind of between jobs at the moment. Yeah, Hiller said that you took some classes in graphic design. You might be interested in the job that just opened up at my work. Um, yeah, well, she must have forgot to mention that, but I, I would, actually. That sounds interesting. Uh, where do you work? Uh, at the ad agency, a and and m Wow, that sounds sweet. It can be stressful at times. Wow, I'm sure it can't be that bad. Do you want a drink? I'm gonna get you a drink. Performer, babe. I don't even care. Let him watch. Come on. What if I don't? Oh my! God. What if I don't want to perform oh. right now? I'm not in the well, mood. Well, breathe in, I'm, breathe in. I'm not in the mood. What's it take to get you in the mood? Hmm? Do you want a visit from uh, Rodrigo? Rodrigo? Yeah, it's Rodrigo. No, oh, he's please. so ready Paul. for you. He's passionate Paul. with his loves. Okay, I'm gonna go. <laughs> Every time we're at a party, she just climbs right up. Ah, uh, here's here's your drink. Thank you. Um, okay, so if you were interested, you could totally swing by tomorrow and you could do an interview if you wanted. Really? That'd be awesome. Yes, thank you. Uh, great. Try one of these. I made it myself. What's in it? Um, the standard stuff. Uh, uh flour, milk, eggs, walnuts. walnuts. Yeah, how'd you know? Do you know, Michael? I've all never... Right, all right, all right. Everybody back off. Give her some air. She can't breathe. Do you have her address? Yeah, yeah. Where should they... Okay, um, I know. What the hell? Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay. She fell. She fell. Does anybody know the Heimlich? I can't Heimlich? even deal with that. If she falls up, I'm going to throw I'm gonna throw I do. I'm going to use this hat. Okay. She says she's going to catch it. She can't Heimlich. The paramedic said she'll be fine. When you write. What? You move your lips when you write. No, I don't. Yes, you totally do. I mean, it's okay. Like, I, I do it too when I write. <laughs> you know, upon further inspection, I think you might be right. <laughs> Wait a sec, back up. You write? Yeah, um, just a little bit. It's, it's nothing. Well, I've written quite a bit of nothing, so I mean, I, I should know. <laughs> I mean, it looks like you have a lot more nothing there than, than I do, <laughs> so. I'm interested. I mean, what kind of nothing do you write? Just, 
It's just a story. Yeah. That's not nothing. How long have you been working on it? Like on and off for a year and a half. I really like reading stuff. Maybe give you some feedback sometime. Yeah, if it's something that you would want to That's... have done. No, yeah. I Blake, like you would do that? If, I mean, you would want to? I'm seriously interested. Um, would you want to get coffee sometime maybe and talk about it? You know, um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I, uh, nothing I, I nothing don't, weird. Don't it would just be coffee and looking at manuscripts. No strings. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. That uh, would be really cool. Anyway, do you know the small coffee shop downtown? It's on 3rd Street. Oh, is that Java's? Java's. I've heard of that. Yep, the coffee's awful, but the service is actually pretty good. Okay, so, sounds good enough. Are you free tomorrow around three? Tomorrow around three, I would be. All right, great. See you there. Cool, I'll, well, I'll see you there. Have a good night. You too. Hi, Michael. I'm here for the interview. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Can we uh, walk and talk? I have to dart across town. Absolutely. I'm sure, so sorry. Sure. Uh, I'm sorry about the other night again. Oh, don't mention it. How, how was the ambulance ride? Really? I'm so sorry. Uh, so, Michael, why do you want to work at this agency? I am passionate about art. OK. Um, our art department, it is a tedious job. You can expect long hours and Sometimes your projects are going to be scrapped at last minute, so why don't you tell me why you really want this? All right, I would really like a reason to be excited to go to work in the morning, and I feel like this place is somewhere I could really sink my teeth into. Okay, tell me why. Well, about what? Let's just forget about the traditional interview questions and answers. Um, all right, I don't really know what to say, though. Tell me, tell me anything. Oh, okay. Uh, here's an idea that might be kind of fun. Shoot. Starting an ice cream spa. Ice cream spa. Think about it. It's, it's the ultimate comfort food in the place of ultimate comfort. So, that would look like me getting a back massage while I eat an ice cream cone. I don't know. Something about that just seems a little off for me. <laughs> hey, you said tell me anything, so... What if it wasn't, what if it wasn't a spa? What about an, a movie theater? Pretty sure they already sell ice cream at movie theaters. Okay, okay, but not a dinky little ice cream sandwich. A, a legitimate hot fudge sundae. With cookie dough? But of course. I like it. Um, oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I think I've heard all I need to hear, um, and I will have somebody contact you, okay? Here's thank the resume. You. Yeah, thank you for coming in, Michael. Thank you. Excuse me, ma'am. There's like a huge line in front of you, so you're gonna have to take a number if you want anything to drink today. You work here? Yeah, I might have forgotten to mention it yesterday, but I do in fact work here. Right, so I can see the place is swamped. Yeah, got a lot of business today. Right. The coffee's terrible, but the service is amazing. Oh, I see what you mean now. <laughs> so, um, I, I have my manuscripts. Good. If you yeah, no, I'm re still really interested. Um, do you like macchiatos? I do. I can whip you up a decent macchiato if you want to sit down, get your manuscript out, and I'll join you in a second. So, what got you into writing? That's a good question. Um, okay, it sounds weird, but it started off when Michael and I shared a room, and to keep him from farting on me or pulling my hair or anything, um, I would tell him bedtime stories. And as we got older, he actually started drawing out my stories, like comic strips. That is pretty cool. It's nerdy, actually. Well, yeah, but haven't you heard? Nerds are the cool people now. <laughs> well, Paul doesn't think so. Okay, all right. There's a really nice little place around the corner you can get some real food. What do you say? I'll put the sign in the window. Okay. Let's get out of here. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, jeez. Well, you did say you wouldn't hurt it. <laughs> so, odd question. Have you ever thought about sending your manuscript off to a publisher? You know, I have. But I just don't know where it would go from there, you know? I might be able to help with that. I have a professor in college, and he runs a publishing house. What? So, I don't know if it's something you would be interested in, but I could zip off a copy of your manuscript to him. Uh, yeah, I mean, he sounds legit. He's super legit. If he likes a story, it gets made into a novel. Oh my goodness, I, I wouldn't want to ask you to do that, though. That's... You know, I'm not exactly you. twisting my arm, Hillary. I want to do it. I wouldn't offer unless I wanted to help you. I, I really believe in your project and I this is really corny. I believe in you. I, I, I do believe in you. I'm, I guess I'm just really flattered and, and I'm just that was such a compliment, you know. And, you know, it's, it's my pleasure. Um, yeah, you deserve every compliment you get. <laughs> I guess I'm just sure, not no, used I'm, to them. <laughs> oh, I would have thought you'd get a lot of compliments. No, no. Um, yeah. What are you doing? I'm cooking for you. And since when do you know how to cook? Hey, come on. I'm a natural at this, all right? Oh yeah, I can see that. Okay, look, just go get comfortable. Yeah, I got a big surprise for you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's not half bad. Uh, see, see, I told you so. Okay, so why tie? Well, it's a it's part of my big surprise. Okay, look, I landed a gig. What? Babe? Oh my god, congratulations! I know, right? Yeah, where? It's in LA! What? Oh man! <laughs> that. Wow. Um, so, uh. Whew, LA. I mean, that's, that's the whole thing with this, with this Thai stuff. I was doing some research on East Hollywood, oh, gotcha. and it's pretty affordable, and they got great Thai restaurants, so I'm pretty excited that's about this. That's the connection with Thai. All right. So, um, so you're looking to move there. What's the role? Well, I mean, I, I don't know yet. I mean, I, I submitted for two of them, but they're both leads, though, so that's pretty good chance. Wait, but I thought you said you got the part. Well, yeah, I pretty much did. I sent in my demo reel. I got new headshots taken. I mean, this could be my big break. But nothing's been confirmed yet? I don't know why you're focusing on the negative aspects of this whole thing. I mean, all right, look, worst case scenario, we move to L.A., mm -hmm. huh? and then I am able to focus on my acting full time. I mean, there's going to be other jobs. And what about my writing? What about it? There's coffee shops in Hollywood. You know I do not want to be one of those coffee shop wannabes just sitting there sipping their lattes and reading their C.S. Lewis. I don't, I don't like those people. I hate those people. Uh, yeah, you hate those people. I do. I don't want to be one of them. You know that. Um, it's just that today I, uh, I sent in my new novel to a publisher. Oh, you finished one. Well, that's nice. You didn't tell me that. I mean, it's not finished yet, yeah. but, um, that's not the point. The point is, is I could be a published author, like, right here, really soon. And what if I don't want to uproot my life just to follow your dreams? <laughs> okay, look, what I have is real talent, okay? I'm not like one of those stupid little, little pretty boys who are, get on one of those vampire shows that come out every two or three weeks. You know, can we just, uh, just stop talking Yeah, no, that's fine. Yeah. It's fine. I, don't, I mean, I'm not even hungry anymore. Yeah, yeah cool. you know what? Me either. Thank you so much for that wonderful dinner. <laughs> yeah, we got it. <sighs> nice! Girl, Girl Caitlin! You got it. Oh, okay. okay. So the thing is, it's like every time I look at him, 
And I don't know when this started, but I just see how pathetic he is. Like, when will he wake up from himself? Okay, okay. But Paul, Paul's always been Paul. You've grown up. Listen to yourself. Yeah. You hate all the things that you thought were so charming about him when you first met him. You're right, you're right. But okay, you know how they say, like, when you're 25, your brain stops developing? Yeah. Well, for guys, it's probably more like 60. Yeah. <laughs> He's just so, like, oblivious to everything besides his acting. Of yeah. Course. He's so focused, though. <sighs> so driven, I think he said. Uh, try self-absorbed. He's arrogant. Deep soul. Confident. He's completely irrational, Stace. Dreamer at heart. <laughs> Shut up. Did I really say all that? I'm paraphrasing. Oh, okay, but there are better guys out there than Paul. Yes, there definitely are. <sighs> Anyway, how was that uh, interview with you and Michael? Your brother makes a surprisingly nice second impression. Okay. Stacy! <laughs> Michael, come inside. Is this some sort of loving sisterly death trap? Death trap? Love trap, death trap, is there a difference? Like, how many expendable best friends do you have? Oh, I keep a spare in the attic. I'm not hiding any friends here. Come inside. You know, you think accidentally poisoning one would send a pretty clear message to the other potential dates. Okay. You need to shut up and be a human being for a second. I set you up with Stacy. Wait, another Stacy? No, the same Stacy. She was telling me about your interview, and she was totally blushing. What? I know. Like, her cheeks got real rosy. So, I took it upon myself to make you two a little reservation. <laughs> I know! It'll be fun. Come on, when was the last time you went on a date with a pretty girl? Don't remind me. He said she blushed. Yeah, hardcore. Now come on, go get ready. Okay, okay. Hey. <clears throat> Surprised you showed up. Yeah? Yeah, what did Hillary say to you? Just... Talked. Crap, what did she say? Nothing too bad to keep me from coming here. <laughs> well, that's a relief. Yeah, but I'm surprised that you came. Really? Why? I don't know, just the potential awkwardness, you know, just having had an interview together. Hey, it's only awkward when you say it's awkward, right? And, uh, <laughs> besides, uh, I've been through worse job interviews. <laughs> Are you implying that I gave you a bad interview? No, I didn't. I did not mean that. By using the word "worse," that implies that I gave you a bad interview. It was not bad. It was nerve-wracking. <laughs> so now you're just gonna start doling out compliments. Uh, you kind of put me on the spot with the whole uh, "tell me anything" bit. Yeah. Yeah, an ice cream spa, really. Hey, hey, hey! Do not, do not judge. That was not that bad for being completely off the cuff. And when you left right after I said that, I thought you hated my guts or something. What gave you that impression? Well, you didn't smile the entire interview. That is not true. And I was smiling when you left. Well, yeah, you're happy to see me go. I saw the little walnut <laughs> drawing. <laughs> oh, yeah, right. Well, I figured that was the least I could do, other than paying for the ambulance ride. You expected me to say thank you. I did not say that either. I, I figured you already had thanked me on the inside. Well. Thank you. And thank you. For what? For kindly forgiving me for this whole accident. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who said I forgave you? For all you know, I'm luring you here to poison you. I'm, I'm on the path to revenge, and this might be the last thing you've ever seen. Well, that wouldn't be so bad from where I'm sitting. So, uh... Wow. Yeah. You know you're at a fine establishment when they don't have an option for chicken fingers. Yeah, I didn't realize Hillary had such expensive taste. Yeah, yeah. But it's fine. It's it's totally fine. You know what I really could go for right now? What? Juicy off the grill burger. Is that bad? Would this burger have pickles? It might. Let's go. Really? A radioactive beam? That's how you're gonna become a yeah. superhero? Yeah, think about it, think about it. All the major superheroes have some sort of radiation thing going on. 
gamma rays, cosmic radiation, radioactive spider. So I figure all I have to do is get stung and boom, I'm suddenly Bee Man or Bumble Boy or something. Okay, but if I was to get stung, I would just be Dead Girl. Well, that's good to know. So, uh, bees and walnuts. Maybe you should just wear a hazmat suit on our second date. <laughs> second date? You're already thinking about it. It might have crossed my mind. So what is it? Said second date. Well, I thought maybe we would get in the car and drive out of town. We can go walk the streets of Paris, have a picnic at Mount Rushmore. Mm -hmm take in a Broadway show, and finally, uh, ride through the canals of Venice on a gondola. Sounds pretty stupid, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I love about the rain? Hmm. It gives us all this, it makes everything grow and it gives us life, but we still attribute it to being so sad and depressing. I think it's pretty wonderful. In a strange way, it distracts you from what's going on in the outside and makes me hyper focus on what's going on right in front of me. I'm gonna go inside. I'm gonna work in the morning. As do I. <laughs> Thanks to you. <laughs> um, okay, are you ready? Mm. On the count of three. One. One. Two. Two. Three! <laughs> oh. Well, that was refreshing. So, what's your favorite color? Yellow. Because it's nice and bright like me. How about you? Uh, blue. Because when it's not a sad color, it's a happy color. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, okay. And nice and bright like me, Do isn't it? Do you ever worry about no longer being pretty? <laughs> no, no, I, I'm a guy. Why would I, why would I care? What do you think you want to do with your life? Oh, I don't know, bring about world peace, teach Esperanto to disenfranchised orphans in Bangladesh, that sort of thing. What about you? In three years, I'll start traveling, and then I'll marry someone with money and just focus on painting while he supports my family through his own law business. I like to at least pretend I can. What's your favorite animal cracker? I don't know. I don't think I have a favorite. Well, everyone should have a favorite animal cracker. What's yours then? I like the elephant because you can bite off its trunk and its back leg and then it looks like someone's giving you the finger. You were a strange child, weren't you? Okay, here's a big one. If you could have anything in the world happen, what would it be? Go. Mm. Uh, anything in the world happen. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Um, <clears throat> when I was a little girl, I wanted to be a princess. And I always had this dream that my Prince Charming would be outside my house on a horse, a white horse, in a tuxedo. And he would call out to me like, my fair lady Stacy, come away with me. And I would leap into his arms and we would ride off together into the sunset. <laughs> I know it sounds kind of silly, uh, but I still wouldn't mind having something like that happen to me. <laughs> Wow, I was just gonna say something like lightsaber battling Chuck Norris, but yours is pretty good too. And um, he'd have to have a massive chocolate cake. What? Yeah. I mean, if we're talking about my my dream man, it's gotta be the real deal. He's gonna bring me cake. Noted. <laughs> Michael! Rachel? Can I come in? I could really use a shower and a couch to crash on.
haven't asked me where I've been yet. Where have you been yet? Everywhere. Ireland, Italy, Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, and I mean everywhere. I even went to France, Austria. I wanted to stay in France forever. I almost bought a place. Can you imagine me buying a house? Not even remotely. <laughs> well, I loved Sweden too. I wish you could have come with me. But the Nordic countries, Finland, like, they're the best. Yeah, Vikings, sure. Well, surprisingly, I didn't see a whole lot of Vikings. There was this one guy, though, Miko. And we were hanging out at this bar one night. Uh -huh. Oh, gosh, he was, he was so sweet. You would have gotten along with this guy. But he was uh, caught up in a drug bust in Hell's Megiddo, and it's kind of hard to hide a Viking-sized guy, so he's in jail now. It's the good ones that get away. What about you? What have you been up to? I am seeing someone. Oh, like a shrink? Like a girl. Oh, that's surprising. Why? I mean, like, I, I mean, <laughs> like that's really nice. Yeah, it, it's very nice. Um, so, do you mind telling me why you're back here? You, you leave for six months, and then you show up out of the blue, and you're unpacking in my spare bedroom. Mind catching me up? Mm, I figured that it was time for me to come home, and I really need a place to stay. And it would only be temporary just until I get my feet off the ground. Is that all right? Yeah, sure, that's, that'd be no problem. I know I could count on you. Got something against pitching machines. What? You can take it easy, Babe Ruth. There's no girls watching. Just had a really sucky day so far, that's all. Okay, well, as your best friend, I don't care about your problems, so if you could just go ahead and repress all that and bottle it up, that'd be great. I guess you showed up at my house today. Probably not gonna be Santa. One word. Rach. Oh, hell no. Yeah, yeah. Oh, buddy. I mean, now she's staying in my spare bedroom. Now yeah. I really wish you hadn't told me. Yeah, well, I don't know what to say to her. Well, okay, you know this is gonna cause problems for you and Stacy, right? Oh, I know. Okay, and you know that you need to get her out of there as quick as possible. Yes, I am well aware of that. Okay, well, uh, gosh, I don't know what to tell you, brother. You're in a bit of a pickle. I know. When I left, she was sticking her underwear into my drawers. What? Yeah, they were French. French is good. You know why he had French underwear? Because she spent the last six months backpacking through Europe. Cool, but can we go back to the part where she's wearing French underwear and putting them in your drawers? I mean, were they one piece, two piece, the uh, silly little things with all the straps? Straps? Never mind, you're not ready for that yet. I wouldn't want to ruin the surprise. Had enough surprises for one day, thank you. If you say so. So, do you think what I'm thinking? No. Wait, what are you thinking? You know what I'm thinking. I am not gonna, with, <laughs> no. Okay, all right. Absolutely not. I mean, you know, there's there's nothing wrong with having your cake and eating it too, man. I'm dating one of those cakes. <laughs> and the other cake flew halfway around the world without even saying goodbye. All right, well, that cake has come home, Michael. Can we please stop calling them cakes? Hey. <laughs> I just uh, wanted to know if you heard about my manuscript. I've actually heard something. Really? No, I'm I'm lying to you. For real? Do you want to come inside and take a look at it? I, uh, okay, yeah, yeah, great. Come on in. Okay. Well, I sent off your manuscript to my old professor, like I said I would. Yes. And Thank he you. sent me an email back. Okay. Anyway, he wants to set up a meeting with you. Now, I wanted to surprise you. Blake. Uh, <laughs> Wait. So he liked it. I don't know about liked it, but, you know, take a look. Okay. He said um, something about very impressive and full of potential. Oh, my God. Was, yeah, he did. Be going down that road. <laughs> oh, my gosh, I can't believe this. Believe it. Thank you. You're, you're welcome. Believing. <laughs> Blake, you're awesome. Thank 
you so much. You're welcome. You're really welcome. I'm okay. happy you're happy. Yeah, I am. I'm happy. You want to take a look at it? Yeah. Hey, you ready to go? Yes, I... Crap, my phone. Stacy's already there. Hey. Hey, Blake. Hey, Rachel. Oh, my God. How you doing? I've seen you forever. Yeah. Where are you guys heading off to? We're going to Hillary's. We're going fishing. We're going fishing. Yep. You're going oh. fishing at Hillary's house? No, we're not. We're going <laughs> to no. pick up the poles and then head out fishing from there. Yes. Right? Uh, right. My Correct. Point is, like, no lakes or rivers to catch fish in. Well, then we'd better get started. We should have a long trip. Try me, tell me to try new things out? Come on. Yeah. Here we go. Well, we'll be back later. Yeah. Uh, See you. Keep it real. I'm going to go find Stacy. All right, have fun. Hi. Oh wait, you're uh, you're uh, uh, Blake. Bl Blake. Blake, I knew it started with a B. <laughs> Michael's right. friend. Michael's friend. That's yeah. right. Yeah, you were I was... my party last week. Yeah, yeah, I was. I totally was. Yeah, the demo reel guy, right? Yeah, it's a D reel. It's short for demo. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hey guy. I, yeah. I don't. I don't want to be you know that party host or anything, but um. So one of us is gonna have to change, man. <laughs> what, like my shirt? Mm hmm. Uh, it's pretty funny. That's, yeah, that, that's funny, man. A good one. Oh, no, I'm serious. Serious. All right, go, go ahead, find something else there, guy. Oh, yeah. Uh. Wearing a white shirt to my party. All right, all right, everyone, everyone, quiet down, okay? I gotta, I gotta talk here. All right, it's my turn. <laughs> oh man, it is just great seeing all of my best friends here. Got my babe, Michael. Good to see you. I have a very big announcement. Uh, I have been offered a part in a very large blockbuster franchise. And I don't wanna, I don't wanna drop any names or anything, uh, but uh, I'll give you a hint, okay? It's, uh, it's the one with the, it's the one with the giant robots, huh? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Oh yes! Oh gosh! Thank you, thank you. But seriously, seriously, um, this is a big opportunity, and I thank you all for the support you have given me through the years and through my career. And I especially want to thank Hillary, my sweet, sweet babe, who's been there through thick and thin. You've supported me both emotionally, physically, and financially. So that's three ways. On this journey, I want you to know that I can't wait to live our dreams of me acting in Hollywood. <laughs> I want you to be my Samwise Gamgee as we take this ring to the mountains of Mordor. Let me be your Bilbo Baggins. And so, that being said, <laughs> will you marry me? Oh, huh? No. What? No. I'm sorry. Just stand up. Can we? Can... Oh. Come on. She's uh, she's not feeling so great right now. It's probably the shellfish. So just <sighs> aren't dinner parties the best? Yeah, didn't take people long to start clearing out. <laughs> I left my purse in my car. Wait right here. Hey, do you know if I can park along the side of the street? It's packed tonight. Yeah, you should be fine. Are you here for Hillary and Paul's thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you know Hillary and Paul? Uh, through an ex of mine. Oh, okay. I'm Stacy. Rachel. Way, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry you already missed their uh, failed proposal.
So how long have you felt this way? I'm so sorry. Come on, I can't even cry on cue. I can't cry here. I can't cry anywhere. Um, it is a beautiful rain. <laughs> My grandma's. <laughs> And I'll have to give it back to her. <laughs> she was so excited about it, too. It's... I really am sorry. Why didn't you just say something? I really thought it was just a phase. Well, you know? Maybe it is a phase. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to say right now. Like, I know that you think you need me. But what about what I need? What do you need? I need to end this. Rachel, this is my boyfriend, Michael. Rachel. Oh, you two know each other? Uh, yeah, we met once or twice. Something like that. Okay, how did you know Hillary and Paul? Through an ex. Oh, is he here? Probably not. If he was, he probably wouldn't want to see you then, would he? <laughs> Michael. No, it's okay. He's right. I probably Rachel? Have him. Hey. How did you two meet? <clears throat> this is, uh, Michael's ex. Okay, I really didn't come here to cause any trouble. So oh, I'm I have a hard go... time believing that. I'm sorry, what's going on? <laughs> so wait, when did you get here? A few days ago, Michael offered for me to let him stay in his place. Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Offered? That makes it sound like I wanted. She's been living with you? This is not happening to me. Michael, has your ex-girlfriend been living with you? Stacy, can we talk about this? There's no talking about this. There is no this. Michael, there is one simple question. Are you still in love with Rachel or not? No. That was pathetic. Stacy, please don't leave. You know what, Michael? You are a genuinely sweet guy some of the time. And I will stay if you can tell me this. Okay, if you can tell me this, I'll let it go. We'll go back to my place. We'll curl up on the couch and eat ice cream all night. Why should I waste another moment thinking about some great guy who's in love with another girl? Good night, Michael. I don't know, maybe because, again, you somehow managed to ruin my life. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Why did you go to that party? Couldn't you figure out I didn't want you there? How was I supposed to know that you were at Hillary's at a party? You told me that you were going fishing. Come on, Rachel. What are you doing here? Be honest with me. Why did you come back into town? I to see you. No. Oh. <laughs> Michael, you don't believe me. <laughs> Stop. When I was traveling, I would think about all the things back at home. Think about the fireflies and how beautiful it is here in the summer. And, and I would think about our families. All of those things just made me realize how much I miss you. You left me. Without any warning, you just went away for six months. You threw me out like a rag doll. Why, why would you? Do you know what that?
Wait, wait. You need to leave. What? You can't stay here anymore. Are you joking? No, no. What are you saying? I don't understand. What First thing tomorrow morning, you need to be gone. It's me, let me in. Uh, it's kind of a bad time for me. Yeah, for me too. I need a place to stay, okay? So just open up. Come on. Just a minute. Okay, thank you. Can you just open the door? Uh, I don't have a date over right now. Yeah, well, tell her to come back some other night, okay? I will need a place to stay. You owe me. Remember that time you thought you had crabs and I had to go to the store and get that special shampoo? I don't remember that. Yes, you do. Remember I had to throw out my razor because you decided... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. Just stop talking, please. Just H Hang on one second. All right, I'm opening up. Hey, man. Mi casa, su casa. Are you going to let me in? Yeah, yeah. Just... Yeah. Anytime soon? Yeah. Come on in. Yeah, come on in. Okay, so where's the, that date that was over? Hey, you look rough. You had a long night. Let's get you set up on the couch. I got a blanket for you and everything, man. Just crash wherever you like. Sleep yet? You should check. No, no, no. Can I talk to Blake alone for a second? Michael. No, I, Please, I think this needs to happen. Just give us a sec. Um. You might want to have that one while. I'm sure you have a lot of questions, and before those questions get asked in a really angry tone, let me answer the first one. No, I'm not disrespecting your sister. <laughs> if she stayed... Paul, mm -hmm. do you really think she'd be happy? I really do care for her, man. I know I'm Mr. Haha, -ha, Mr. Funny Guy, and I don't take things seriously, but I take her seriously, man. You promise me we're not going to hurt her. I promise you. So, Rachel, I was with her tonight, and I told her to go. What? And I meant it this time. I told her never to come back. That's why I'm here right now, because I could not be in the same building with her for another minute. I am so proud of you. 
Yeah, well, it's great and all, but uh, it's a little late because Stacy's gone, so doesn't matter. Who cares? <laughs> and and if I were her, I probably would never want to talk to me again either. The thing is, Stacy has seen your character. Even though, yes, you let your ex-girlfriend live with you when you were talking to her. Bad move. But, but what you did tonight, that was brave, Michael. You have to know that. Yeah. Oh, come. Have a seat. We love the book. Michael, are you shipping out? Yeah. Well, you know, there's not really much reason to stay around here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, my audience awaits, huh? Hey, Paul. Break a leg. Yeah. Thanks, man. It means a lot. Hey, would you rather be alone? No, or? no, you're good. Um, they uh, wanted to publish my novel. Yeah? Yeah, but I'd have to make all these changes first. These? Yeah. Ooh, why so many? Apparently, it wasn't marketable enough. What's the name of it? Anything is something. I like that. It sounds marketable to me. So, um, are you going to talk to Stacy? Yes, I just need to figure out what exactly I'm going to say to her. <laughs> yeah, I definitely understand that. Hey, what about you and Blake? He's, uh, going to help me self-publish this thing. That's great. Yeah. I just don't know what to do. Do, do I make some big gesture or... Confess my undying love. Michael, I know it's really easy to think like that, but um, if she says no, you're just going to have to accept that. Or what about this? What if there was a store where you didn't buy designer jeans, but you made your own designer jeans? So they'd have you know, you know, scissors, knives, screwdrivers, saws, and then you could add in all the wear and tear yourself after the fact. This sounds stupid. Sure, yeah. Okay, what about, what about this? What about a movie theater where they have a huge ice cream buffet bar? And you can add in all the toppings and things you want while you're watching the movie. You can get an ice cream sundae, you get a hot fudge sundae while you're watching. I don't see why it. people would do that. I mean, it sounds good, but it's just, it's, it's just weird. <laughs> you're weird. What? Nothing. You want something to drink? I'm going to get us a drink. How's, uh, how's it going with Evelyn? It's going absolutely nowhere. Dude, she's, she's totally your type. She's funny, she's <laughs> smart. Give her a chance. Uh, no, like, I appreciate you trying to set me up, but she is not my type. Dude, she's pretty clever. She's studying to be a dentist. Oh, I know. She spent half an hour lecturing me on the dangers of artificial sweeteners. <laughs> I don't think I'll be able to have Splenda again in my life. <sighs> Time? 
Yeah, great time. I met a dentist who I've been talking to all night, and she says I have nice teeth. I actually had to stop her from trying to touch them. Great. Yeah, that, that's Evelyn. So, <laughs> you gonna ask her out? Well, I thought about it, but uh, if she scrapes people's gums with sharp metal sticks for a living, what do you think she does for fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, mm. Hi guys, I just um, wanted to thank you all so much for coming tonight. First of all, it just means the world that, that you're here right now. And I just, I just wanted to announce something really quick. Um, I don't want to take a long time, but I have been working on a novel. And um, it's, been, it's been over the past couple of years. It hasn't really been a big thing until, until recently. Um, but it's called Anything is Something. So um, lately, I've been I've been finishing it, and I just wanted to to officially announce that I just got approved for self publishing. Meaning, oh, oh stop! <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm really excited about it. Thank you. <laughs> um, but uh, they said that my novel should be in store uh, and online uh, within the next month or so. So that's a that's. So big and so from left field and I can't believe it happens and I just want to thank you all like each and every one of you for being like a friend to me and just you know an inspiration all of our relationships have, have really meant the world and and um and Michael's friend too he's uh he's been quite the backbone so uh I'm really thankful for all of you and I love you all and I hope that you guys just Keep talking, keep having a good night, but I'm I'm celebrating tonight. So thank you for doing that with me. Oh. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. So. Hello, hello. Oh, I finally got your guinea pig. So good. Oh. <laughs> it's it's right in the corner of my room, like, oh, gathering dust. Right. Oh, hey, God. Okay, I was wondering where we were. Stacy, here. Uh, here's the mock ups that you asked me for. Next time, give this to Maggie. She'll make sure I get them. Okay, yeah. Uh, real quick, um, are you going to Hillary's barbecue? Because uh, if you are. I... Michael, have you ever read a book that started off amazing and you get to the end and it's a huge letdown? That is how I feel. You are not worth rereading, and that is the kindest way I can phrase that. Fair Lady Stacy, I've come for you. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I tried to get a horse, but I couldn't on short notice. Michael, what do you want from me? Stacy, when I first met you, I was so scared. 